Zel drīzās būs dārīksus. Davor. In this video, I'm going to be discussing uh, some of the more recent leaked images from House of the Dragon. But before I jump into any of that, any of those details, any of my speculation, any of those comments, please uh, do, do, do me a massive favor and subscribe. And then also, slap a like on this video. Like goal is going to be uh, 420 60. <laughs> 69. <laughs> uh, but only do so if you enjoy my content. Long nights! Alright, now first things first, uh, I don't think this video will be very long, but, you know, I obviously haven't made it yet, so we'll see once we get to the end. But I, I specifically wanted to bring up the image of this guy. Uh, I, I had mentioned that I thought that since they look so dirty, uh, their hair is clearly cleanly I thought burned off that this was a victim of the dragons, right? So this is some shepherd dude out in maybe the, the countryside of King's Landing and he's minding his own business and then bam, Caraxes or bam, Syrax. Somebody comes by and burns all his shit. Uh, main reason being is because we saw that there is a <clears throat> sort of a battle that almost looks like it happens, but there's a lot of burned items that came along with these set images. So I thought this guy is probably going to go and try to say his case in front of Rhaenyra. We'll have a callback to that scene with Daenerys where the shepherd comes and lays his sheep and then uh, another one comes and lays their daughter, right? The bones of their daughter. So I thought that that's what this was. But a subscriber of mine, more importantly, a Patreon of mine, one of my very favorite commenters, uh, Reflective Rambling, she left a comment and said that this dude is probably part of the uh, dragon shepherd, so to speak. So, like, he's got a dragon glass dagger, and this could be someone who's in charge of taking care of the dragons. Sort of like a, a dragon priest sect. He may be someone who's responsible for traveling around when the dragons, or sorry, when the Targaryens are, you know, handling their business and, and, and going to their affairs. Maybe he's part of a sect of uh, dragon priests. And it would be interesting to sort of see how devoted they are to the dragons, and maybe we could bring in some more lore from Martin's The Song of Ice and Fire universe, more specifically to have them sort of contrast against the, uh, you know, the Faith of the Seven. We had uh, the High Sparrow in uh, Season 6 of Game of Thrones. We got to see Cersei bring him into the mix, and her plans obviously were foibled, but she hoped that he could uh, get rid of the Tyrells, right? To remove Marjorie from power because Cersei felt like it was stolen from her. So maybe we could have this contrast of these dragon priests who are actually priests of her lore. This would be another interesting way of expanding on the religion in Westeros. Maybe at this time in Westeros, priests of her lore were way more prominent. And this guy has literally come from Essos. And part of, he's not necessarily a priest of her lore, but more so a dragon priest. And part of his speciality is to take care of the dragons. I don't know. You all let me know what you think down below. Like I said, this idea was popped into my head from a comment left from Reflective Rambling. And she's one of my patrons over on Patreon.com. Lester Hunter Reviews. If you're interested in joining, uh, there's a link down below in the description. It, it really helps uh, sort of make up for the non-existent uh, YouTube ad revenue. And then lastly, I'll try to throw some images up for you guys. Um, there were some new pictures. It was actually a set video that was taken by Eugenio, who's one of the first uh, leakers that gave us pictures from, I think it was Cornwell or Hollywell Beach or something like that. And that was back in April. So this guy's back uh, they're filming what we think could be reshoots or maybe later episodes in the season. We don't exactly know, but uh, basically he posted a, a video, um, and in that video there were several things that were noted. Mostly, there's these soldiers that go along with these images that a lot of people, myself included, thought they might have been for Vikings, which uh, Vikings Valhalla, which is like a Viking spinoff show that's that History Channel was filming. But when you combine the images of these swords with these uh, soldiers that we clearly see in the video, it makes sense that that goes together and these are more set images from probably on location filming for House Valarion. Maybe there's several pickup shots that involve uh, dialogue between two major characters and obviously these images are from that. The fact that we see so much sea smoke uh, makes me think that they are near Driftmark and that this could be the actual death scene that's filmed uh, with Sir Carl, Corey, and Laner. Maybe they're making it more fantastic for the TV series, like for the spinoff they're changing it so that he actually dies on his dragon it's not necessarily a duel and maybe Damon isn't involved we don't know 
but you all let me know what you think down below in the comment section. This seems like a good point to get the fuck out of here. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could, please do me that massive favor. Make sure you're subscribing and slap a like on this. The like goal is going to be for 2069. <laughs> Long nights. Um, also, Game of Thrones convention is coming. They're going to start announcing guests very soon. And that, of course, is taking place in uh, Vegas in February. Now, obviously, with my YouTube ad revenue, I cannot afford to make that trip. So I've decided to start a GoFundMe. Anyone who donates, uh, I'm going to try to do something special um, for anyone who's able to drop a couple dollars at it. But that's linked down below in the description. Uh, I want to thank you all again so, so much for watching. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunts Long Night Reviews. <laughs> hey.